Papa John Schnatter, once the king of a massive pizza empire, now ousted by his own company, mainly for not keeping his racist trap shut. Despite this giant blunder, Papa John's pizza stores are still cranking out pies. Is it because Papa John's knows how to make a good pizza? Or could it be something else? Let's put the nail in the coffin. Now let's construct a base for the sauce. Do you have to do this on an inductant cooktop? No, you can do this on any stovetop. It's just that every time I need to cook something over high heat on my stovetop, it becomes excruciatingly hot. In fact, one time I was making a cornstarch thickener for something else, and this is true. It got so hot, it singed the hairs right off my knuckles. Using an inductant cooktop is just way easier. In a small saucepan, add a quarter cup of cornstarch. Then add a cup and a quarter of water. Mix it all up. And once the cornstarch and water are all mixed together, boil it over high heat. Okay, once the cornstarch thickens up, take it off the heat. Now let's make the other half of this recipe, clarified butter. Toss two sticks of unsalted butter into a small saucepan. Then we put the two sticks of unsalted butter into our pot and set it over low heat. We want to melt this over low heat because we want the milk solids to separate. Now it's going to take about 20 minutes, but melt the butter over low heat, stirring occasionally, until the milk solids curdle together. Some chefs say let the butter melt until the milk solids burn to the bottom. I don't know what they're smoking, just uh, go with the original plan. Anyway, once the milk solids form clumps like this, drain the butter for a fine shiv into a bowl. Okay, so we have the cornstarch water thickened up and the butter clarified. Now all we have to do is mix these together. But it's not that simple. One is mostly water and one is mostly fat. They don't mix. So we're gonna have to employ an emulsifier. And we're going to use the same one that Papa John employs, soy lecithin. It's used in common snack foods you get at the vending machine, and it's also used in molecular gastronomy. Now, I know some of you are a bit worried, but you shouldn't be. Soy lecithin, in moderation, is totally okay. I mean, come on, would it have been recalled by the FDA years ago? Anyway, link in the description. And no, my red pill friends, it's not going to turn you into an effeminate weakling. Ugh. I swear, boys today. So just add half a teaspoon of soy lecithin to our cornstarch base. Then add enough cornstarch base into our butter. Okay, that's about the consistency we want. But as you can see, the cornstarch and butter is not fully integrated. So that's where this comes in. Now this is the consistency we're looking for. Now to season it, let's add two and a half teaspoons of salt and about a tablespoon of pureed garlic. Give it a taste test. A little bit more garlic and a little bit more salt. Hit it with a stick blender one more time. And there we go folks, now you know how to make Papa John's garlic sauce. And since my recipe makes more than just a measly little cup full, there'll be no more family drama over who gets that cup. And that's patriotism worth not kneeling for. This has been Jay's Cut and Kitchen. I'm CRJ, making cooking fun and meaning it this time. Thanks for watching. If you liked the video, smash the like button. If you really liked the video, consider subscribing and hit the bell notification icon. I upload every Thursday. Don't forget to follow me on Twitter and Instagram. Oh, by the way, I was going about the whole soy turns men gay thing. Ugh. Imagine downing your masculinity all because of a stupid bean. Truly, I am the snowflake.